The electrical output of a generator powers a water fountain. The power of this generator is 8.5 watts. A. The pump converts electrical energy to kinetic energy of water with an efficiency of 25%. Calculate the kinetic energy of water delivered by the pump in one second. First, when you see the word kinetic energy, you think about kinetic energy equals half mv square. But this equation will not be used in this case. That's why the first thing we must do is to find the givens. 8.5 watts, this is the power. 1 second, this is the time. 25% and this is the efficiency. It's clear that you don't have mass, you don't have speed. That's why you cannot use kinetic energy equals half mv square. Kinetic energy is the output energy from the pump. In question A, he says that the pump converts electrical energy to kinetic energy. Power equals energy over time is the most suitable equation for our case. By a small rearrangement, energy equals power multiplied by the time. This means 8.5 times 1. Energy is 8.5 joules. But actually, this is the electric energy input to the pump. Since the efficiency of the pump is 25% and the pump converts electrical energy to kinetic energy, this means that the kinetic energy is 25% of this number, which is 8.5. So the kinetic energy produced by the pump is 2.125 joules. This is our kinetic energy. Question B. The pump of the fountain propels 0.00018 meters cube of water per second. This water rises vertically as a jet. The density of water is 1000 kilograms per meter cube. Calculate. Number 1. The mass of water propelled by the pump in one second. The same thing we do every time. Collect the givens. 8.5 watt is the power. 0 0.00018 meter cube, this is the volume. And 1000 kilograms per meter cube, this is the density. And he's asking for the mass. Do we have enough givens for the mass? I think the equation density equals mass divided by volume will work. By a small rearrangement, Mass equals density multiplied by the volume. Density is 1000 kilograms per meter cube. The volume, according to the equation, is 0 0.00018 meter cube. This means that the mass will be 0 0.18 kilograms. Notice here that we didn't need the power in our calculation. Some givens will not be used in some steps. Just choose the givens you need for your calculation. Next question, double I. Calculate the maximum height of the jet of water. Water is pushed upwards by the pump. It is given kinetic energy by the pump from the bottom. So the water rises against gravity and its kinetic energy changes to potential energy. So, for anything against gravity, if we ignore a resistance or any type of friction, we say that kinetic energy down equals potential energy up. Just as we say for falling bodies, we can say that for rising bodies, anything against gravity. From question A, we calculated the kinetic energy produced by the pump, 2.125 joules. According to this question, this is also the potential energy of water at its maximum height. So we say that 2.125 equals mgh. So 2.125 equals 0 0.18, the mass we just calculated in I, times g which is 10, times height. Now he's asking for the height. Height will be 1.18 meters. The idea of potential energy up 
equals kinetic energy down is frequently used in the questions of this lesson work energy and power